How's it folks, and welcome to my first Let's Play series, and it's on the long-awaited Hogwarts Legacy. A little warning before we get started, the game seems a little unoptimized, and there are multiple freezes and stuttering during both gameplay and cutscenes. I plan to mess around with the settings before recording the next episode in an effort to resolve it. My PC specs will be about in my About section, and I'll be making timestamps if you wish to go to certain parts of the video. If you wish to follow along as I lose myself exploring the wizarding world, then please click that subscribe button, it will help me out greatly, and I'll appreciate any feedback in the comment section down below. Okay, a little background, I redid and re-recorded the first episode because there was massive stuttering and freezing issues, so I fitted around with the settings, got the later or the newer version of DLSS, replaced that one, I changed some general settings related to it, otherwise I haven't gone further than where I stopped last, where I stopped in this video, just to keep continuity. I'll do more videos with, with this series going forward, just hopefully the performance gets better when the new patch and graphics driver gets sorted out. Then another thing for the background information is I have been looking forward to this game for a fairly significant amount of time and I've also been trying to avoid any spoilers so if I come across stuff that I don't know I'm not a Potterhead fan just enjoy the world and the uh, characters in it so that's about it for intro and now let's get into some gameplay. I believe we will be starting off with some customization yep here it is a whole bunch of presets available I'm gonna try and make myself look something similar to what I uh, look like in real life, or as close as possible I guess. Quite a few options here. Let's just change the face a bit. Yeah, that's about it I think. Need to make me a bit paler though. Then hairstyle by looks of things. Uh, close. No, yeah, I think that that one would be it. Yeah. What's the hair colours that? Dark black to anime stuff. <laughs> Dyed hair. Uh, let's go try and find the dark brown. Very boring, I know, but let's give it a go. Of course, there's got to be scar somewhere. Got to get rid of the freckles though. Don't have those. And that's off the paler. Eyebrows, eye color. Trying to get a Grey green color. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Well, close enough for it to matter. Eyebrows are fine. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, let's just go with that one. Dust. Nothing to be concerned and about. I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty uh, to start off with. And then I used a name generator to get this name because I, I always struggle to name my characters and I would have spent way too long trying to come up with a name for myself. So let me just check what it is. Uh, it's Halifax Grey Water. Alright. I've been looking forward to this. Let's get going. I'll try and avoid speaking during cutscenes or during monologues. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. 
Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do...
you all right? <sighs> You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Bit of stuttering. And I like how we first saw the Thestros when we saw that George fella getting chomped on by the dragon. That was pretty cool. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Let our adventure begin. Really looking forward to this. I'm waiting for quite a long time. That's an impressive view. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, bit of lag. Ugh. Yeah. That's not good. Excellent. Okay. So you can select active target with the camera. But Lagging and stuttering a bit. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, let me try and sort out some. Try and lower some settings. See if that will change anything. Looks like I can't go full screen, and I can't change my resolution to 1080. Going to keep DLSS on quality setting. Uh, let's put effects down to medium and I want to keep texture at high, maybe 
fairly jet medium, sky medium. Let's change that, see if that changes anything. Hopefully it does. Game still looks good, which is nice. Got to break the pot. Almost instinctual. Doesn't seem to be lagging on the spell casting anymore, which is good. But whenever someone goes right on a, a fork, always go left. You will always find. Well, not always, but you should find some treasure. Uh, yep, there it is. Of course, naturally. A bit of gold. I am a bit of a loot goblin, so I will be looking for chests and We're whatnot now. It's just ahead. all over the place. Seems to be a rule all game developers follow is in a tutorial. You, you go the path opposite that you intended to go to to get some reward or something. Steady yourself. Little windy here. Repair I am so looking forward to being able to do that myself. Very nice. <laughs> uh, this game has been a long time coming. Almost there. Some sort of. What is this place? Doesn't seem like a temple. Wizarding and lot aren't really that religious, as far as I know. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, we came from the day. Nice waterfall. Where the statue stands out, let's try that first. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! He's missing one of his hands. He's holding the book. Could be wearing tear though. Probably not that important. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Looks like there's a path around the back. Oh, nice. You can knock over pots and make a break. That's cool. I like there being a physics system in games. Adds to the encounters. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Is that. That could be Gringotts in there. And the whispering sort of makes me think of that curtain of death or whatever in the Department of Ministries. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Did we just teleport somewhere? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Yeah, it does look like Ringos. Very nice. Definitely underground somewhere. Yeah, did you three be? Not enjoying the stuttering. Hello? He's got golden fingernails. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, 
Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. I honestly do not know how Hagrid didn't lose his head going through all those twirly whirly loop de loops in that golf carriage thing. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. I, enjoy I enjoyed that little. Roller coaster. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Professor, that 
was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Ooh, did I learn off this spell? This brings back the stole today, so one of the first Harry Potter games. I remember doing something similar to this for that one. I can't remember what, which one it was, though. It was a long time ago. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I seem to have missed out on a chest outside the vault. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Music really does help with atmosphere with a single Lumos bow in a very dark area. I see something up ahead. What it's is pretty it? cool. That I'm enjoying this so far. Up on the floor. His whispers again. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Maybe Revelio? Revelio, yeah, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Second spell already. I'm gonna enjoy this. It continues like this. There we go. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. That's cool. Are we going to be fighting now? I think so. Looks like it. Look out! Looks like I need to practice blocking. That's one. And that's two. That was too early. Now it's three. It's lagging a little bit in this battle arena. Oh, I'm enjoying the little flicks he's doing to cast a 
Mexico. Almost looks like he's flaunting it. Everything. Always oh, got the dog. Lumos, Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest. How am I supposed to go? Nice. Little loot goblin got some more money. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. Lumos. And another chest I'm going for. Off to a great start, I think. Revelio. Doesn't seem like there's any more. Lumos. Oh wait, there's one more over there. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Ah, there it is. Probably gonna have to do the. Revelio. Let's just check again with these statues. Maybe we'll have to line the three of them up. Lumos. Yeah, there's a slant leading. The other. Yeah, back here. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. I like that little sword slant thing. That's pretty cool. Cost a shield charm and got pushed back. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, hold the button to stun enemies with sticky power with a counter attack. Okay, let's give that a shot. I have to do three of those for the pixel things. Come on, attack me! Oh, nice. I'm, I'm getting. I know I'm getting like using that move. That was too early. Way too early. Got to get timing right. And you don't necessarily counter the one you attack, but more the one that you're aiming at. Okay. Okay. So maybe you could counter some minions while aiming at the boss and keep counter attacking the boss or something like that. I don't know if that would work or not, but might be a possibility. Eager to try it out at least. And I'm definitely enjoying counter attacking. Yes. Something satisfying about that. Oh, and I started healing now that we're out of combat. Revelio. Doesn't look like there's any more chests around. Lumos. Alright. Let's go to where the wasps are leading us. I'm really enjoying the music soundtrack, ambience, whatever. It's really adds the experience while playing on our nostalgia fuels. Yeah, that is cool. Liquid stone or whatnot. Now this is giving me serious um, Department of Ministries Death Curtain Cinema Bobby vibes. I probably won't die walking through that, but Revelio. eh, it's blank on the other side. And you can hear the whispers, or maybe that's just got to do with ancient magic. Let's go through. That was liquidy.
Wow, this bike looks pretty cool. You can definitely see developers had passion for this project. Is that a pencil with memory floating above it? I think it might be. And of course he just reaches out and grabs it. Did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems. Are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. And now I think we get to the intro sequence. Yes. Oh, yes. That was a solid intro. Give that a very good rating. I enjoyed that. Performance could be better. Performance could definitely be better. But that went from 0 to 100 really quickly and they only slowed down a little to provide some exposition. But it was pretty interesting. Which is good. And quite a long loading screen to get into Hogwarts. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more. Appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? That's better, no? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. That was like watching a poorly made slideshow. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. 
definitely can't wait to start exploring. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. So I took the quiz for the sole reason that I wouldn't have to actually choose my house and I would get given it whatever my answers gave on the house quiz. So I got Ravenclaw. And that's what we'll be running through for this this one. You belong in Ravenclaw Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. I can really tell how he's going to be. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. All right. Looking forward to my first day at Hogwarts. If we could run a little scuba. <laughs> Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Alright, first need to look around the door. Not a bad looking bed. And of course there are books in the Ravenclaw dorm. Of course, pile of books. Yes, yes. <laughs> is it losing portrait? Yeah, it is. The Quidditch player. Looks like it. Okay. I'm guess whoever put up this poster is who the portrait belongs to. Seems to be a bit of a fan. Oh, yeah, no. What's up with this mirror? <laughs> That's not the reflection. Okay, okay. Let's just let's just ignore that and keep moving on. Okay, not down. Up we go. Just have to 
Is it? Right moment. This looks like blocking off the the girls' dormitory area. That's pretty cool. Th that had to be done. Oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> this should be interesting. Is that Helena? Or just another random one? <laughs> is it a ghost? The, the ghost is stuck from from these cards. Okay. Okay, let's try moving away so they open it up and... Yep, there we go. Yep. <laughs> uh, those whole birds. Maybe they're magical so they can stop ghosts, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. One moment. Watch this. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Seems a bit of a prankster, that, that one. It must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. But at least I've finally stopped. Not right either. Okay, the ceiling is pretty cool. Oh. Alright, trophy case. Let's talk to this girl with her plant. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. The scar with the telescope. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You think you could. Ah! That is not how that. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. 
Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Okay, let's get started on our first day in Hogwarts. That had to be done. Is that Lady Ravenclaw herself? Must be. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. That was pretty cool. This way. Oh, look at this stuff. Oh, those talons are sharp. Definitely won't be wanting to run into one of those. Jeez. Ish. That's pretty cool. I'm liking these. Animated the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Oh, oh, what's what's going on here? Eh, uh, just seems to be set up that level. Oh, okay, let's not have been down here. Okay. Wonder what that was. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. The bust is following us. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust <laughs> and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Ravenclaw bust. This bust, created in honor of Ravenclaw House, resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. But who is it of? Created in honor of Ravenclaw House, but didn't actually mention who it is. Ok, 
Okay, it looks like we've got some XP. Have to open up the field guard. This is wizarding level XP earned from challenges. Increase your level and power. Your field guard tracks your current challenges. Select the challenges. We need to continue. And then we have to go to field guard pages. Continue. And then each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Seems we've one out of two of unlocking some goggles or glasses. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Oh, he's holding the book now. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I'm enjoying these little details. Lots of space for more no people. To waste. You've classes to attend. For more portraits to go up on these walls in future years, I suppose. Planning ahead and whatnot. Oh, hello, what's this? Puzzle ball? Um, yeah, it seems to be a number one and a spider and something. 13 in the middle. Maybe they add up to 13. So that's it. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So is that 9? So I need to look for 4, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that little longest thing with. Okay, I don't know what that one is. And then 13 and then. Hydra, zero, one, two, three, four. No, zero, one, two, three, or three. Rebellion. 16. Okay, let's try them out. Good. Maybe this is for the bottom one. Okay, trying to solve this before we get lost. I picked up some gold as well. Somewhere. There we go, there's that little dongle thing. Don't know what it's actually called. Oh, two. Oh, I hate <laughs> that was a little touch. Should have probably run there. Okay, so let's see the bottom one now. 13 plus Hydra-headed boy. 13 plus Hydra-headed boy. 13 plus Hydra-headed boy. We'll go to. Okay, so one, two, three. At 16, so I need to do five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that spider crab looking thing. Don't really even know the names of the stuff yet. Here we go. Let's try that. Oh, nice. It worked. What do we get? We get a unicorn statue and. A large sorcerer hat. I'll put that on later. I like going around without any headwear at the moment. Very much beginner student style. That was pretty cool. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, select the branch to a case region. So that one. And then in this view, you can see the few flames available in that region. Green few flames represent the ones that have been discovered, including the house common rooms. Gray few flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay, fast travel system. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Alright, let's go there then. Library Annex, and then we need to look for the central hall. Oh, it's already unlocked from Professor Wee's. Okay, let's go there then. I 
I'm not too sure how much fast traveling I'll be using. Might enjoy actually exploring on foot or on broomstick a bit more. At least to start off with, I think. And then, is that, is that, doesn't look like it. Might be a way. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, Is so to speak. Dragon puffing out smoke. Is a tail moving? Yeah, it is too. Oh, that's cool. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. All right, let's tell her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies.
It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think I'll end this episode here, and then we'll continue from this point on in the next episode. Definitely off to an enjoyable start, but with some issues available in there. Uh, if you would like to see more of this stuff, more of this, this playlist, hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out. If you have any feedback for me, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, have a great day and cheers for now.